Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I don't know what happened to the intro of this video, so I'm reshooting it. Today I'm going to be making a corset top out of one of my mom's old coach bags. She gave me a bunch of hers asking me to sell them, um, but I figured this would be a better use of the material. So this isn't really a tutorial, um, but follow along because it turned out really, really cute and I am excited for you guys to see. So. Here we go. Seam ripping is somewhat therapeutic, but only if you don't like seam ripping something that a stitch that you made and you have to seam rip it because you made a mistake is not fun. But just like randomly seams or seam ripping is sort of fun. I'm getting somewhere. I basically started ripping the lining from the purse itself and it's been working out okay. I think the fabric won't be too thick for me to actually sew with it, which is good. Some of the leather pieces might be a little tough, but I think my sewing machine can handle it. So, yeah. Oh, careful, everybody. Look what I did. Uh, uh. I don't think I have another one. I literally was thinking like, wow, my seam ripper is like being such a trooper. It died. But here's what I have. One strap off and it is going to be, I think, literally perfect for the strap. And I have the lining outside. And there was a bunch of like cardboard and stuff I took out. Dang it, I'm so mad. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do it. Guys, look what I got. Look at all these guys. Now I'll never run out. It said it would only take a day to come. They lied, it took two days, so. Guys, this is literally not a joke. It must be me. It honestly, at this point, it just must be me. I think it's because there's a lot of glue. If I break this one, we're gonna have issues because these are tiny. I got this off of it, which I think is cool. It's like this little leather like patch. And this is the pieces I have from the bag. And I honestly think it's gonna be enough fabric. I don't know if you can fully tell, but it's very dirty. So I might have to throw it in the wash because I mean, purses just get dirty because you take them everywhere. Hi, um, okay, so I'm working on the coach corset and I'm really excited about it. I just cut out, I had to do some adjusting with the pattern I used. I will link the pattern in my description. It's from Nava Rose. Um, I did not make it. Um, I had to alter it because the fabric with the purse was just a little limited. So I had to do some adjusting, but I cut out the pattern from the coach fabric and from the lining and I'm gonna sew them all together. So here's all my lining fabric and the pieces from the purse. I am going to sew up all of these pieces and then same up here. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so here it is all sewn up together. And here is my lining piece. So I'm going to take these and flip this right sides together and sew all the way um, up and around and down and leave this bottom side open. I am also going to attempt to put these straps inside, but I'm only going to sew up this little inside bit so that this flaps outside of it. We'll see. Alrighty. The real moment of truth. Let's see. Ugh, I'm scared. I'm debating on um, just taking these out and gluing them on because you see how the flap that I 
sewn in, I'd actually want this to sit a lot lower. Like I'd want this part to be underneath this flap here. So I think honestly gluing it would be better. So I just did all of that like hard work for nothing. Okay. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna go through it with the machine one more time so it's really secure because it would be much easier without these buckles in there. And then we can attach the buckles afterward. Ugh. Hi, I'm about to go leave to film a wedding, but I had some extra time and just wanted to do a little bit, but I actually ended up adding like another panel because it, it wasn't like wrapping around my back. Um, so I added an extra panel on each side just to make it a little longer. But I actually think it's looking really, really cute. And then I'm basically, I just sewed a bunch of like little strips together to make a really long strap to wrap the corset. So I'm just going to make that really quickly before I leave because I have an extra minute. Guys, it's coming along. I'm gluing this strap on here because sewing it did not work. And I'm using E6000 glue. I wish I had like a little like clip to hold this down. This was not like, I didn't really think this through. That works out. Guys, okay. So I glued the straps on and i hemmed the bottom and that is looking good and i bought this thing because i have tried to use grommets before just with like the little hammer tool it comes with and i don't know if i'm doing something wrong but i can never ever get it to work so this thing i just tested it and it worked super well like so easy okay so i'm putting like poking like little holes in the fabric, which is very scary because I don't want to make it too big or put it in the wrong spot. So I'm literally just like little by little, like cutting, making it bigger until I think it's good enough. And then I'll take this part of the grommet and we'll just see if it's big enough. So once it's poked, all the way through, all the fabric is poked through. We'll take this guy and we're gonna put the little base part on here, like that, just on this, this part, it sort of like sits in there. And then you take this and we're gonna feed it through. It's a little bit hard to do, okay. Feed it through, so now, now it's clamped and then you just literally Use your muscles go like this and then it's literally done like yeah that's what it looks like guys it's coming along so well I the grommet thing like really changed the game because it looks like so clean and professional which is like if you sew you know how hard it is to make your pieces look like just so professional so I'm really excited about that and I'm working on editing a TikTok and it's looking actually really good and I'm like excited about that. Um, I have this like little patch that came from the bag and it says like this is a coach bag, it was handcrafted, blah 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 and I was debating on whether to put it on or not and I think I'm going to. I think it would look cute like to add it just like from the bag here. Okay, this is what it looks like with it on, and I think that looks actually so cute. I'm glad I did it. I'm also realizing that I made a corset, but I never put boning in it. And I was going to, but I just forgot. I don't know. Honestly, I think it looks like fine without. But I that was the plan, and I just... I am getting ready to go and shoot a picture. Um... Because I really love this project, we're gonna go all out and go down to a uh, parking garage downtown. Um, but I'm just styling it, I'll have to pull it tighter, but styling it with some jeans. And I think I'm gonna find 
like some strappy heels like just like open toed like strappy heels I'm not sure even what I have but then I think I might put throw my hair up I don't know guys it's so cute <laughs> Okay, so this is the final look and it is so cute. Um, this is the back. Like I honestly think I could wear this out, which is saying something because a lot of the things I make, I just couldn't wear out. Oh God, there's a car coming. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Please um, like it. It's Subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok because there's more content there. Um, but yeah, thank you and bye-bye.